Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody say. My name is MJ Omoto and I welcome you to the African Music Industry Podcast. Uh, this time around, I've got an album review for you. Let's talk music with MJ. Album review. First thoughts. Uh, the album review this week takes us to the Gambia. Now, Jizzle, or Jizzle de Loco Kiddo, is a young and extremely talented artist out of the Gambia. My first experience with his music was a little over a year or so ago um, on the addictively vibey song called Wa Guan, which is one of Jizzle's best songs to date. I do recommend you check it out. It's got a video on YouTube, so why not? Uh, today I'm reviewing his 2018 EP called The Next Big Thing. Album Review Let's Analyze the Music uh, This EP starts with the song Ekodi, which is a chilled vibe. It is a fusion of um, Afro beats, maybe a tinge of dancehall, and just exudes this Africanness, which I love um, about the current Afro beats kind of uh, realm of African music. Now the song Talk Talk is directed at the haters, the old talk and no action type. The string lead on this track is a draw, it catches you and it's very easy on the ear. The way he delivers his verses and the chorus shows you that he's up to some, something quite different. On the song Jalika featuring Hussein, which is the most danceable track you will find on this EP, is all about a beautiful girl called Jalika who is said to have a body that could stop traffic, among many other things. Now, let me give you an example of some of the lyrics. Um, they're hilariously awesome with lines like, uh, Jalika body iPhone X, Jalika body PS4. Um, kind of just to say Jalika's body is like an iPhone X or like a PS4, like top of the range. <laughs> and it's awesome stuff from the young man, just uh, the play on words and things, items. And the more I listen to the CP, I realized that although um, the earlier music from Jizzle kind of suggests that... Um, He's uh, a cross between a rapper and a dancer, or chanter, or a toaster. Uh, this EP um, sees him do a bit more of singing compared to his previous work, so he kind of like tries to um, give us more R&B vocal kind of songs with that Afrobeats background. Album review: The technical side of things. Obviously, this is an EP, so it's only six tracks. So I won't really tell you everything about all the songs, but getting into the technical side of things. I appreciated the quality of the mixing and mastering throughout the EP. Um, I generally am not versed with the Gambit music like other people, but Jizzle is the perfect musical ambassador for the country. The beats were very balanced to the ear. They were surprisingly independent from that heavy bass that uh, sometimes is dominant in uh, West African music. So this is the kind of music that just about anybody from anywhere in Africa could listen to. Album review. The final thoughts. As I said before, Jizzle is kind of like a cross between rap, dancehall, and Afrobeats. So <laughs> there's no need to box him in. His market is the young music lover, and his music um, would be a favorite, I guess, at uh, clubs, parties, and uh, definitely on radio, without a doubt. Um, of the whole EP, the title track is the only hip-hop track. When you listen to it from the beats and the delivery, and it doesn't really hold the candle to the other five tracks. So to me, that says that Jizzle has found his true style to stick to on this EP, that cross between rap, dancehall, and Afrobeats. 
the issues that he talks about are exactly what I would expect somebody in their late teens to their late twenties to experience. So I believe that is the target market and it should resonate with them. Honestly, there's not much to fault on this EP. It is an EP after all, but um, I really enjoyed the fact that it gave me an insight into youthful music from the Gambia. And um, yeah, the next big thing EP is available on multiple online platforms. So my recommendation is to give it a listen and hear a different side to African music and certainly music from the Gambia. Jizzle, you've done well. And that's it from me, people. My name is MJ Wamoto. This was an album review on the African Music Industry Podcast. I'll catch you on the next show. Moto Moto Music, the best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.